Perfect. Perfect. Hey, what's going on, people? Your boy, man, Mike, coming at you guys with yet another Atlanta Braves news update. And this one is to kind of give you guys an idea of what's going on with Hank Harris. Hank Aaron, the real deal Hank Aaron. Um, look, man, he's the real home run king. Make no mistake about it. And his take on this is absolutely correct. And this is exactly what he said, and he's pretty much absolutely right. I think he's 100% right. Um, but he goes on to say that whoever, everyone in that involved in this Houston Astros cheating scandal should be kicked out of baseball forever. And we're talking about forever. And I look, one thing you cannot have in sports is to, to have the fans feel as though that they cannot trust the game that they're seeing. It's the guy, all the guys that they were seeing, are these guys really as good as we think they are? Because a lot of kids idolize these players. A lot of kids want to be like Acuna. A lot of these guys want to be like Vladimir Guerrero Jr. Like a lot of people want to be Miguel Cabrera. You know, a lot of these guys want to be like a Greg Maddox back in the day. You know what I'm saying? Like we grew up. I grew up wanting to be Ken Griffey Jr. So to have a fan, a fan think that they cannot trust the game that we're seeing, that the guys that we saw like Barry Bonds, who was a, a great player in his time, even before the steroids allegations, that we can't trust the product that we see. It's a shame. Jose Altuve allegedly has something on his shirt and he's like, don't pull on my shirt. Like who says that during the game? I've never seen a player and maybe I'm, this is a stretch. Maybe there is a stretch, but I've never seen a player when they won a game, you telling your, you telling your teammates, don't pull off your shirt. That is alarming. And I don't know what I saw. Maybe it is a mic, you know, like the NFL that have players mic'd up on the sidelines. Maybe it's something like that, but I don't know. But these guys had a system in place to cheat. And I, and I, as a fan, cannot trust what I am seeing. That Mark McGuire back in the day, that he really was that good. That Sammy Sosa back in the day, he really was that good. Alex Rodriguez. Barry Bonds. That these guys that I saw, that you saw, and the guys that we see today, that they are not as good as we thought they were. You know, a lot of Braves fans, we, we just saw a picture of Dallas Keuchel, who was with us this past season. Okay? Come on, said, yeah, we all knew about this. That it was a part of their scheme. That he knew that this was, uh, was going on. And maybe this is a reason why he took so long to sign a deal with somebody. Why would you take so long? If you're really that good, why would you take so long? I'm, I'm just saying what ifs. And maybe there's nothing behind what I'm saying. But it makes you wonder that the players that we see, Jose Altuve and a lot of these guys, why, does it, why did it take so long? Why? Makes me wonder. So Mr. Hank Aaron, he stated, that yes, back in the day, we used to try to steal signs. Yes, we did. And, and everyone does. You're trying to figure out what a pitcher is doing. His tails. Like if he does something with his shoulder, is he throwing a slider? If he does this, he wipe his face or something like that. Is he throwing an off-speed pitch? These are the things that you try to steal during the course of a game. But when you, as a player, decide that you're going to, not, not on the players, because this was a lot deeper than just the players, the whole entire, the entire organization knew about this and no one did anything. 
You know it. No one did anything. And that's the problem. You did nothing. You knew that they had this system in place and you did nothing. You recorded, you recorded player tendencies. Like Spocky, you recorded it. Now that's where things went way too far. And Mr. Aaron is absolutely correct. And if you had anything to do with that, you knew about it, and you were one of the main player, people, players, organization, if you were one of the main players that put this scheme together, you should be, you should be banned from the game permanently. And the fact that Joey Cora, Beltron, all these guys are no longer, that tells me a lot. These guys should be banned. These guys should not be allowed in the game. Because like, like I said before, as a player, as a fan especially, how can I trust you? How can I trust the game that I'm seeing, the players that I'm watching, hit home runs, getting these strikeouts, batting 300? How, how I know these guys aren't cheating? That's the issue. You cannot, it's, it's almost like stealing money from people. It's stealing money from fans. You make enough money to do the thing, thing do things the right way. You're stealing fans' money by not being truthful with these guys and punishing the guys that are cheating. But let me know what you guys think about this, man. Leave your comments below. Do not forget to hit that subscribe button. Your boy, man, Mike is out, man. Perfect.